Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Risha Airstream 3 textile jacket. Risha have gone pretty big recently on mesh textile jackets like this, possibly because summers seem to be getting warmer and they reckon we're going to want more airy jackets to be riding around in. This one's a bit different to the others in that the mesh is dialed down a little bit and there are also removed waterproof and thermal liners to give protection when both the rain and the temperature are falling. Risha actually described this Airstream 3 as a four season jacket. I don't personally agree with them on that, which I'll explain later, but it is a decent option for use through summer. But first, let's run through the essential details before I get on my soapbox. The bulk of the outer shell is made from polyester. Risha don't specify the thickness, but my money's on it being 500 denier, as it's the same material used on their other jackets where they do specify the thickness. It's beefed up with ripstop polyester at the shoulders and the elbows, and you can see the crisscross thread, which runs through it to limit the travel of any tears. There are accordion stretch panels for the elbows and shoulders, which does make things a bit more flexible, and it also lets you get away with maybe a size smaller than you would otherwise. The mesh sections are then up the sides of the torso and inside the arms. So these locations aren't really in the full force of the airflow, but in the 600 miles which I wore this jacket, I found a good amount of airflow through there. For the first couple of hundred miles, that air wasn't really much benefit. It was during the recent heat wave and it was about 38 degrees. When it gets that hot, vents like this don't really help much as you're just getting hot air blowing at you rather than cold air as you ride along. Once it cooled down into the mid twenties, then I started to get the benefit of the airflow. The main fastener on this jacket is a zip with a storm flap behind it to help keep out rain that might get past the zip teeth. The collar does up with a popper and the cuffs have velcro and zips. The cuffs are pretty narrow, I find that's a Risha trait and I couldn't zip a jacket cuff over a winter glove when I tried that as an experiment. There's fit adjustment on this jacket to tweak the fit, you get poppers at the biceps and velcro straps at the waist. So let's move inside into those extra liners I was talking about. The waterproof liner is Risha's own Aquashell waterproof and breathable membrane and it attaches into the jacket with zips and pop studs. It has a 10,000 millimeter static head, so the waterproofing performance is on a par with most textile bike jackets. Then there's a thermal liner attached inside to that, which helps you stay warm when it gets a little bit chillier. There's a pocket inside the waterproof liner. You get two pockets in the thermal liner, and then there are two waist pockets on the outer shell. So that's a total of five pockets with this jacket. But remember, you'll only be able to reach one or two of those interior pockets, depending on which liners you've got inside at the time. And also the internal pockets are the only ones that will keep your stuff dry. Armour for this jacket is in the main shell and you get shoulder, elbows and back. It's D3O armour and it meets the basic level one of the CE standard. The back insert as standard is a narrow spinal protector, but if you want full coverage, you can buy an upgrade insert for 50 quid that meets a higher level two and also covers more of the back. There are pockets as well for chest protection inserts and they cost another 32 quid for the level one option. The overall protection level for this jacket is the most basic within the latest CE standards, which is level A. The last bit to cover on the inside, there's a short connection zip to attach to Risha trousers. Risha also sell a connection zip panel that can go on a normal belt that will let you connect the jacket to your choice of denim riding jeans. Now let's talk about price. This jacket is £249.99 as we record this. So after 600 miles of riding in quite a lot of different weathers, I feel I've got a good handle on this jacket now. In warm weather, it gives a nice flow of air and in chilly weather, that waterproof liner has insulated me against the cold. Stupidly, I trusted the weather forecast when I went away for a few days in this jacket. At the time, it seemed more likely that Britain was gonna catch fire rather than have any rain. So I didn't make any room in my luggage for the waterproof lining. And then obviously on the last day of my trip, it rained. Water came straight through the ventilated sections as anyone in their right mind would expect. And without that lining, I got pretty soggy on the inside. I'm not gonna criticize the jacket for that. Risha included a waterproof lining and it was my dumb decision that meant I didn't have it with me when it rained. But the ease with which water got through the outside means the membrane on this jacket is gonna to have to work really hard to protect you from the rain, certainly harder than if you've got an outer that's not made from mesh. To me, in winter in Britain, I think you need something with a more substantial outer to protect against heavier rain. So that's why I wouldn't describe this as a four season jacket. For a flexible option for summer touring though, I think it's pretty damn good. It gives you good coverage for warm days and it's also got options for when it rains or for if it gets cold. As long as you decide to take the liner with you, that is. I hope that covers everything you wanted to know about the Risha Airstream 3 textile jacket. But if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.